we're going to look at a function, uh, two different function values added or subtracted. I'm only going to do part B. Part A is going to be similar, except you would add these two values. So part B is a little bit more tricky because you got an extra minus sign. So we'll do that part. I'm going to do these separate. I'm going to find f of 3 first, or f of negative 3 first, and then f of positive 3. And then we'll just take these two values and subtract them. All right, so here is the function f. We're going to take negative 3, and we're going to f it. So what happens, we're at what I just circled, those all become negative 3s. So we have 2 times negative 3 squared. It's important you wrap this in parentheses because you need to square the negative 3, not just the 3. So we have minus 9 times negative 3 minus 1. So negative 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18. So negative 9 times negative 3 is turned to positive 27 minus 1. 18 plus 27 is a lot. Um, oh boy, numbers 37, 47, 45, 44 maybe, hopefully. Uh, f of positive 3, so this is going to be really similar. I'm just putting positive 3 in for the x's. We got the same 18 here. Negative times positive is negative. So it's 18 minus 27 minus 1. Uh, let's see, negative 10. All right. So what we're actually asked to do, f of negative 3 minus f of regular 3. And we have f of negative 3 is 44 minus f of regular 3 is minus 10, and we should use another parentheses. So we got 44 minus negative 10, which is the same as 44 plus 10, also known as 54. All right, so that is how to plug in those values and subtract. And to do the first part, you would just add those two numbers together instead of subtract them.